Hi guys, I'm sitting here editing the video that you're about to watch and I thought I would put an intro clip because everything was so crazy at the hospital. I really only pulled out the camera and vlogged when I could or when I had a chance. So everything kind of ended up being kind of disorganized and I thought I had said our baby's name already by this point, but I hadn't. I pretty much refer to her as baby girl this whole video, but I did want to tell you what her name was so that I don't leave you hanging. Our baby's name is Quinn Marie and Marie is her middle name. So she'll just go by Quinn, not Quinn Marie, but um, we love it and if you follow me on my Instagram, you probably already knew that because I have posted it on there by now But I'm so backed up on video on <laughs> videos right now that I'm just realizing I never even said it yet So I did want to say that and then also I don't have that many clips of her in this video Actually, there is one the first clip I even show of her is my mom holding her up in the NICU and it's only a few seconds long the videos to come have so much more footage of her, but this particular like few days right here were so crazy. I still wanted to document them, but it was a little hard to film in the NICU too, just with nurses around all the time and there's other people around. It is weird to like pull out your camera and be talking to the camera and whatever. So I did want to apologize for that. I mean, I don't need to apologize for it, but um, in case anyone was wondering like, why is there no footage of the baby? <laughs> There will be a lot more footage of her in even the next video after this. Hi guys, it has been a week and a day since I came into the hospital. If you saw my last video, you kind of probably have a better idea of what's going on. This is just going to be like a vlog basically of the next week or so. Um, but we had our baby girl five days ago and it was an emergency c-section. I had preeclampsia and I had no idea, which I think most people well, I don't know, maybe some people have an idea before they're diagnosed, but we had no idea because I basically had no symptoms um, that were visible. So I think I'm going to do like a story time video, like a birth story. There's no birth vlog because it was all an emergency and it happened out of nowhere. So obviously we weren't going to pull out the camera and vlog, <laughs> but I'm waiting for some prescriptions to be brought up to my room right now and then I'll be officially discharged from the hospital after a week and a day. And then Eric and I hey, Mom. are gonna go pick up our dog Ace and we're so excited to see him. Hello. He's been in boarding, so I can't wait to hug his little fluffy face. This is where we've been living the past few days. This is our third room in the hospital. Um, this is like in the mother baby section. When we first got here, we were in labor and delivery and we were only there for two days, I think. And then everything went down and we had, well, I had the C-section and after that, then we were in ICU for four days or three or four days. Then they finally moved us here to mother baby. So this is the room we're gonna be staying in for however long until our baby goes home. This is my fashionable dress. <laughs> courtesy of the hospital. It's actually so uncomfortable. I'm about to take it off and put on regular clothes if I can. I don't even have like clothes to wear. I was so unprepared. How does it feel to be a dad? It feels great. Isn't she so cute? Yeah. I can't show her because she's up in the NICU right now, but I will eventually. We could show her on the uh, live view really quick. Oh yeah. Well, it says the hospital yeah, name actually, on it. We're not <laughs> oh. Like right under it, it says the hospital. They have a little live camera thing where we can watch her, like we can go on and watch what she's doing any time of the day. We can go see her whenever we want to, but like if we're not up there, we can go on the camera. But it says the hospital name right next to it, so I can't show it on here. My dad bought me this little bear, which is so cute. My dad actually bought me a teddy bear at the hospital when I was born, like on the day I was born, and I still have it to this day. It's been my favorite stuffed animal my whole life. I don't sleep with it still, but I do still have it. And now he brought me a teddy bear in the hospital when I had my daughter, so that's just so cute. Both of our families have been like so helpful and supportive, and our friends too. We haven't had friends up to the hospital because for quite a while we weren't allowed to even have visitors other than family, and then once we got moved to this room we could, but everything just got so busy after that. Like, that's when I was able to start going up and seeing our baby girl, cause I couldn't see her for a few days. Like I couldn't even get out of the bed. So that was sad. <laughs> but anyway, once we got moved to this room, everything has either been sleeping, pumping, going to see the baby. We've had family here, which obviously that's fun, but um, 
I haven't even seen like friends or anything yet. They've been asking to come up, so hopefully I'll get to see them this afternoon. At the moment though, I'm just so excited to see Ace. The place where we board him puts videos and stuff of the dogs that are there every day so we can check it and like see him playing with all the other dogs. It's so cute, but I just wanna hug him so hard. We're leaving the hospital for the first time in over a week. Well, I guess Eric's, yeah, Eric's left a couple times. It's sad leaving without our baby girl though, but we'll be back in a little bit. We just got home and I got so emotional. I'm so happy to be home and then I'm also emotional because we couldn't bring our baby home, but I'm just so thankful that she's okay and we get to go back and see her tonight. So now we're gonna go get Ace and bring him to the house and then my sister Julie's gonna stay with him tonight and probably for a few days. I still can't believe any of this even happened though. It's so crazy. So last time I was at my house, I had no idea that it would be over a week before I was back. My sister came and cleaned our house while we were at the hospital this week and she changed our letter board. I still had my Christmas like thing up there and she changed it to say welcome home baby with our baby's name which i will say but i haven't said it yet and i think when i saw that that's what made me cry <laughs> i can't even use this <laughs> eric just went in to pick up ace pretty sure i might cry when he brings him out <laughs> i'm so emotional right now and i know part of it's because i just had a baby and part of it's just because of everything that happened like how could I not be emotional seeing my house and my dog and my wife <laughs> the way it was before but not having my baby in it yet but this is my new life so I guess it's okay to be emotional about it while I'm waiting for them to come out I'll show you guys this little box thing that I have it's a little electric thing it's connected to my bandage that's over my incision and literally I had this on for days before anybody told me what it was for and I was like hooked up to so many wires I didn't even think to ask like what is this specific thing for so I didn't even ask for a while and then finally the day that they let me take a shower which took forever um the nurse was like telling me that I need to disconnect this and finally I was like, what is it? And then she told me it, it is a seal so that the bandage stays sealed to my skin, I guess. But I can take it off seven days after the C-section, which will be two days from now. So that'll be so nice because it has a little clip where I can like clip it onto my clothes, but it just falls off like within five seconds of putting it on basically. So I literally just have to like carry this everywhere I go. I mean, this is the first time I'm going anywhere, but it's just so inconvenient. I mean, it's for a good cause, so it's fine, but I just realized it was off. <laughs> I must have turned it off on accident earlier. Whoops. Oh, hi, boy. Hi. Hi, boy. Hi. Are you clean? He is clean, isn't he? Yeah. You have a little sister. Yeah, you've got a sister. Hey. You've got to behave now. Oh, you're being so gentle. Oh no, his mouth is so matted. Ace seems like he's pretty tired. He keeps just resting his face on the seat back there and looking through the back window. Every time we pick him up from boarding, he's either super, well, sometimes he's been super tired and just like wants to sleep for the next two days, which we're hoping that's how he is because he has so much energy usually and since my sister's staying with him, it'd be nice if he just wants to sleep. And it looks like that's what he wants to do. He's just resting his neck and his head on the seat. Hi guys, it's been a couple days since I vlogged. Yesterday was literally the busiest day ever. There's just so much stuff going on. So, Eric and I are at Target right now. We just got done seeing our baby girl. She took a whole bottle today, which is really exciting. Um, But I don't have like any clothes to wear. I might have already said this in this video. I have no idea what I've said. But um, I need stuff that will like zip open and shut from the front and all of my stuff is like 
pullovers. So, and I also don't have any sweatpants that fit me, like nothing. So I didn't have any time to prepare for this and we're finally getting out to get stuff. So we're gonna go in and hopefully find some clothes and stuff. So I probably shouldn't have come to Target because I feel like trash. I always make Eric push the cart and now I need the cart for support <laughs> to hold myself up. We got a bunch of stuff that we need though. Not everything. Hopefully this will hold us over for today at least. We stopped at Starbucks and Target because we haven't even eaten like a good breakfast yet and it's <laughs> almost 12. It probably is 12 right now. I love how I just made it sound like Starbucks is a healthy breakfast. This is definitely not a healthy breakfast. It's just a breakfast, which is what we need at this point. We're just always trying to beat the clock now, literally. Like, we think we have some time and then all of a sudden we're like, oh my goodness, it's time to pump. So I pump and then we're like, we have an hour. And then we're like, oh wait, no, we were supposed to meet with someone in the NICU. <laughs> and then, yeah, it's just an endless cycle. Hi guys, I just finished getting ready in my fancy hospital bathroom. Um, Eric and I have a super busy day again today. It's like, I don't know, a little past eight right now. And he's actually gonna help me take off my bandage right now off of my incision. Technically I could have taken it off yesterday, but I didn't just because I'm scared, honestly. I hate medical stuff or wounds or blood or stitches or anything and I literally don't want to see what's underneath. I'm sure it's not that bad but so there's this cord thing that I kind of showed the other day I think. It's like connected to the bandage and then there was a little box connected to the end of the cord with like a flashing light and they told me seven days after the c-section the flashing light would go off and that's when I know I can take the bandage off. This thing basically is a seal so that if it gets wet or anything the um, bandage wouldn't start peeling. So Yesterday at some point the light went off and I knew I could take the bandage off, but I didn't want to so I just waited till this morning and It's actually so weird because as soon as I took the box off within like a couple hours the bandage started peeling like It wasn't sealed anymore. So that's really interesting. So anyway, we're gonna do that and then we have to go back to Target Also, I found out why I felt so awful in Target yesterday basically they have me on blood pressure medicine and Eric's dad had a heart attack um, two years ago and he was asking me yesterday if I felt weird after my blood pressure medicine and I hadn't really thought about it like I hadn't thought about that's why I felt weird I thought it was just because I went out in public and I hadn't really been out to a store yet or whatever and he said that after his heart attack they had him on blood pressure medicine and it made him feel super weak and like dizzy and lightheaded and that's exactly how I felt in Target like I couldn't even stand up I had to literally like lean on the cart the whole time like lean down on the cart so i don't know i think i might see if they can give me something else instead of whatever that is because also this morning when i took it i felt horrible like right after i took it so hopefully they have something else they can give me because that stuff does not make me feel good okay if you guys don't want to see the bandage skip this part of the video but this is the bandage that was on my incision um so I knew how big the bandage was, but for some reason I thought the incision was a lot smaller. So that was, I don't know. <laughs> it's just a lot bigger than I thought it was. Um, and this thing hurt so bad to peel off. It's basically just like peeling tape off your skin. We just got back from seeing our baby. We were with her for like almost two hours. We were holding her and we met with her like feeding therapist person. So she taught us like the best way to get a preemie to take a bottle and it's actually so interesting like all the stuff they teach us but anyway we're going back up later right now we have to go to our house and we just need to like get a bunch of stuff out of our room because we've only been home well i've only been home once since i got here and we just have so much stuff here so we have all these bags of stuff to just take home and get out of the room and then we're also going to Target because I need to return some of the stuff I got yesterday and get some other things instead. So that's our update for the day. And then 
the day is just as busy for the rest of the day. I cannot believe how busy we are. It's been like crazy.